Queen. Yeah. I think she has the hooked bang. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. to the Big Dane Podcast. I'm your host, Dana Trimborn, and this podcast is a random hodgepodge of topics that gets released on every Tuesday on, you know, your preferred platform, of course. And I really enjoy sharing my personal stories and making those connections with you guys and just really being relatable, um, all in a fun and silly environment. Hey, friends. Have you ever wanted to try new hair trends for the fall? Listen up, because I have a special guest joining me today, Grace D. Achille, and she'll give us the scoop on it all for the fall. Welcome, Grace. Thank you so much for having me, Dana. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. I'm so excited to be a part of your podcast, and I feel so honored, and I'm ready all right i'm so pumped to discuss all things hair with the fall and really get into it of like what could i be doing with my hair yes Uh. (laughs) oh my gosh so why don't we um just take one step back before we dive into some of the trends and we'll let everyone know how we know each other all right (laughs) let's do it so back when i was first starting out i met somebody who is a client of mine and her name is abby and we love abby so much she has been with me since the beginning so pretty much when i was like eh you know not the best at what i did (laughs) i'm just kidding she's so good and then Abby was just so awesome, and she was like, oh my god, I have this amazing sister-in-law, like, she has to come into you, she's the best hair ever, I was like, oh my god, bring her on, because anybody with some good hair, I'm so ready for it, <laughs> and then I got to meet the fabulous Dana, thanks, I know, so and it's just been, what, it's been like it's, six years? Yeah, I think we're going on, yeah, like six years, I was like, Back in 2016. I know. <laughs> and I'm like, finally, like, someone that knows my hair. Like, I trust you with my hair. Exactly. And it's, like, I love Blush Long because it's, it's such good customer service. Like, I would walk in. Yeah. Oh, do you want a glass of wine? Yes. Maybe a little snack. Yeah, a little snack. You, <laughs> you want another glass of wine? <laughs> we'll sneak another one in there. Like Sorry, a- Michelle. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Maybe like a party bus rolling up. Can I you know. imagine rolling up in a party bus? Like, let's let's go get our hair cut. Dude, that would be so much fun. <laughs> that would be that would be a lot of fun. Girls' night out. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Oh, I love oh God. It. Um. Yeah. In fact, pretty soon we'll be coming in. To get my hair done. Yes. Do Refreshed. Some. You know, got to treat yourself. Yeah, do some balayage. Yeah, some good stuff. Some blonde hair. I know. Um, I know, my hair, it's like my natural color. I always forget how dark it is. Like, it's not, you know, black, but it's it's a it's a darker brown. You're so it's funny because brown. it's literally not is even it, that dark. Is it? <laughs> no. It's a light brown. My hair actually is light brown. <laughs> Our hair is literally like. To me, it's like light oh brown. Oh my god. Yeah. But again, some of these blonde streaks, I'm like, who is this? I know. Whose hair? And like when you get your hair done, there's nothing like a fresh color. You just feel like a bad bitch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just amazing. Such oh a good God. feeling to walk out and just owning it. Yes. Look at me. Yes. I'm on top of the world. Dude. And this amazing hairstylist, Grace. Thank you. You're is so just, sweet. I feel like every time I come in, she's gotten a promotion. I'm like, who are you? I know. <laughs> so I'm more expensive. <laughs> I'm like, every how time. much am I paying? <laughs> no, literally. No, but it's, it's all fun and... Yeah, Good it's stuff. like worth it, you know. Definitely worth it. Yeah, because yeah. I wouldn't want to go to somewhere 
that, oh, it's only $20, although I don't even know if that exists for women, but say if it does. Yeah. And then it comes out with different you can uneven get like shelf layers. Cuts. Yeah. You know, just. And this is your hair. Like, you want it to be done right. At least that's how I always would think of it. So it's like, why why not spend the extra little bit? Um, for me, my hair grows so fast. So Absolutely. Oh, my God. This and girl has so much hair. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> I'm like, can you thin it again? Yeah, and I'm can like, uh, of course. And I'm like, <laughs> taking it all out. <laughs> How much? Like Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I feel. That's great. No, that's good. Um, and it's funny because then other friends or other people that I know, like, I can't get my hair to grow. And I thought, can you imagine not having oh. your hair to grow? God, no. I would but die. I feel like all around, um, you know, I, I'll space it out because then I'll go through phases. I want my hair a little bit longer. So yeah. then I'll wait. You know, so then, like, money wise, it's not like you're spending so much, like, round the clock versus men that keep their hair so, so short. Like, Mac goes yes. at like once a month. Yep. And sucks. No. <laughs> <laughs> but then it looks really? nice when it's like fresh cut. And exactly. All that. So. Anywho, let's get into some of these fall trends. Woo-hoo! So basically, what's hot, what's not, what's going okay. on for so, 2021? So obviously, the balayage trend is still definitely the hottest trend. Ooh, ooh. It just like changed a little bit. So okay. it used to be like hardcore money piece, bright around the face. Now, people are doing that, but they are doing, like, a thick chunk around the face. So, like, a three-inch thick blonde chunk. Really? Yes. This is blowing my mind right now. I know. It's, like, pretty crazy. It's kind of cool, though. Okay. Like, I kind of feel it, you know? I don't... Could I pull this off? Like, I feel like it's all, like, the teenagers are doing that stuff. Okay. Like, I don't know. I feel yeah. like we would look kind of weird. I feel like we would look a little funny. Yeah, like, uh, girl. <laughs> Who are you? What, are you trying to be Kelly Clarkson again? Like, come on. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. But I feel like for the most part, it's back. It's still here. But it's just, like, very natural. Okay. Like, the more natural, the better. Got it. A lot of highs and lows, meaning, like, a lot of, like, depth dimension mm. brond is like a thing right now so i was scrolling through my pinterest to get just ideas of like what i would want to do or like to change for the fall because, yeah like you know inspo. it's not I must, <laughs> if you guys if this was on video i just tried to set my elbow down the table on and i missed and she um, <laughs> i'm still here i'm still on the chair <laughs> Um, but no, I was looking at stuff and I kept seeing that yeah. come up, the bra. So what, I guess, tell me a little bit more about like a bronze. Yeah. Okay. So like a bronze can go two ways. I feel like it can be somebody who has brown hair like you, not black hair. Not bl- <laughs> I do not have black hair. <laughs> Just somebody who already has, like, brown hair. Maybe they, like, never really colored it or they went solid and they're just kind of bored. Okay. So you just add in, like, little, like, very natural pops of blonde. And when I say blonde, it's almost like... blonde. Yeah. Literally. When I say blonde, I mean blonde. (laughs) You guys are like, what the hell are you saying? Yeah, like... You're uh, saying the same thing, but you're not telling us what it means. (laughs) But like a so like an in between, like brown and blonde. Like a beige. Okay. A like, khaki. A, like a khaki, yeah. <laughs> khaki for your hair. Yeah, like khaki pants. You know, they come in all different colors. There's all different colors Who of khaki. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> this would be on my head. <laughs> or like a beige paint. There's like literally so many different yeah. colors of beige. When you think about if you were to like paint your house. Right. Or paint a, a wall. stone. A stone, yes, girl. I love it. I'm here for it. 
A stone. You walk into your hairdress. <laughs> I'll have the stone I'll color. I'll have a stone color. It's called the bronze. <laughs> I'm sorry. What do you say? Be like, well, uh, we just invented something. So get on it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so it can oh, go that weird. way. So it can be like a bra- brunette who wants yeah. to add just like a little bit of dimension, but doesn't want it to be anything crazy. Like, just little pops. It's usually, like, around the face, face framing, you okay. know? So you wouldn't do, like, the bronze throughout, is what you're, like, you would just do it around your face, but maybe do something else? Or just okay. keep the brown. Or just keep the brown. Yeah, okay. or add a few pieces yeah. sporadically so it doesn't look super, like, weird. Yeah. You know? But, yeah, and then really it's... For, like, my blondes. Like, so all the blondes this year, mm-hmm. I, it's, it's like, really this year, I feel like, are all, like, I want to go darker. And you're, like, okay, so I just spent so much time making you, like, platinum blonde. Oh, my god! <laughs> so instead of dyeing their whole entire head brown, you make them bronze. So you put, like, little low yeah. lights in. And it's, like, they feel darker And it's really not. You're just kind of dragging their, like, natural root down. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because it's like a technique that they're doing to, you know, visually kind of trick the eye. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Because you don't want to, like, get rid of all that hard work. And odds are they're going to be blonde again, like, ASAP. Right. I mean. So it would be an easier transition if you wanted to go back to your blonde, platinum blonde for the summer. Exactly. Wow. And then we tone the blonde down a little bit to our 50 shades of beige. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You know, so yeah. it, it's like a win for everybody. How do you, I just kind of thought of something with, you know, so many people have different types of like color, like, I don't know how to describe it, just different color in their uh, color in their hair or yeah. just you know different blondes that how do yes. you, when you color it or add the balayage how do you remember or maybe not remember but i guess there's a certain um like formula formula exactly to go back so do you write it down like well dana's coming in she has this type we're gonna do no so this potion and this it equals this i'm a risky little one <laughs> and i go based off of memory wow <laughs> <laughs> thank you whatever thank you. <laughs> <laughs> just round of applause <laughs> no but I, it had me thinking because i thought how does she how do you know? And then I thought, well, maybe it's like written down, like in my profile that doesn't exist. Exactly. At Lush Salon. So exactly. <laughs> no, there. I could write it down. You could. Yeah. Absolutely. There. I just I don't know how it works. <laughs> so, the girl who trained me. Shout out to Brittany Altieri Nab, killer uh, educator. She always taught me in the very beginning, so she doesn't write down a single a single formula. Wow. Not a single one. Sorry, Britt, I'm calling you out. But it's a good thing. Basically, once you've been doing it for so long and like once you learn enough, you know so much about like the color wheel and like mm-hmm. you know your client. Right. And you know their natural color. So, like, you can look at them and you can look at their skin tone, everything like that. And then you know, like, what to do on their head. That's great. It's amazing. Yeah. And, and I that never. Makes sense. Yeah. Like, with the experience, it's like, you're going to know. Absolutely. Like, I was just talking to my glass. Yeah. Like an echo. <laughs> um, yeah. You like, know. you're going to know, like, oh, I know your hair. This exactly. is what we're going to do. You know, I mean, kind of like. I don't know, I'm making it up like you're going to cook a recipe. Like, exactly. you know, you've done this recipe before. Yeah. So you just do the Maybe same you thing. do something slightly different. Maybe you add a pinch of nutmeg and it makes right. all different. Yes. So maybe I add a pinch yes. of something and, it, and it's like amazing. Bam. Boom. <laughs> yeah. And that is how you balayage. No, <laughs> that's how you do it. <laughs> how you memorize color no but Um, it's just like i'm a very artistic person yeah so color is my art you know 
So if I were to write it down, it just gets like, you can get you banding don't. in the hair, like banding as in like yeah, I don't know what that means. Like legit bands of color. Like if oh, you if like, you were gray and I was color covering your roots. Yeah. And I did the same exact formula on you every single time. You can get like a band. Of like where the color starts and finishes. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Okay. So does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. I'm following. Yeah. So it's just, it's just my way of being artistic. Yeah. And then people always bring pictures too. Right. Pictures are great reference. All my people out there, you want to go get your hair done? Go on Pinterest, screenshot that, that stuff, and show your hairdresser because. Absolutely. It's like, I mean, amazing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if if you're not a visual learner and you're a hairstylist, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I know. I don't know. Yeah, like we're what? very, like, hands-on visual yeah. people. I'm definitely a visual learner. And, like, someone will tell me something at work. I'm like, I don't know what you're saying. Can you just show me Absolutely. what you mean? Yeah. Oh, no problem. You're like, that... I got this. I don't even know what you were talking about. Uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you're speaking a different language and just yeah. tell me the right way. Exactly. <laughs> Literally. Oh, okay. Well, so awesome. We understand balayage. Love we're going to go get the brand. Yes. Maybe. Any other? Brandify. Any other, like, combination? Yes. Yeah, so redheads are like the hottest trend right now. Really? Redheads. Yeah. I cannot even picture myself redhead. Like a ginge. Like, I, <laughs> could you imagine? But again, there's all different shades and there's all different types. True. true so, true. you know, Abby. Abigail. You know, your sister in law. We actually just started to enhance her natural ginge oh my god wait i so i haven't seen her in a couple of weeks but um you probably wouldn't she, have even noticed really it's so yeah, subtle her hair is supposed to be like strawberry blonde or something yes I've, I've never seen it like in real life only in old pictures yes. and oh my gosh that she would look really nice like I, I feel like she's had you know her blonde and so i'm used to her blonde and then the one time where her and Scott, my brother, um, they first, you know, got engaged and, you know, her hair was very, it was like, it was like black. black. It was black. <laughs> it was like it black. Was actually black. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, that, yeah, that would look not interesting, though. I wouldn't have thought. Yes. That like, yeah, let's, this is what people are doing. We're going red. Yeah. We're Everybody. Going red. And like. When you say red, there's so many different reds. For sure. Because I, so when I say red right now, I'm thinking like red. Like fire truck red? <laughs> like, yes. Like pure red. Like pure red. <laughs> yeah. And I'm thinking like the pumpkin. Like pure yeah. orange. Yeah. Like it's nice, fiery. Yeah. Exactly. So I am the copper queen. I kill it at redheads. That's like my what? specialty. Yes. Take note, people. Fun fact. No, I love it. I didn't know this. You didn't know this? Whoa. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I just like, again, because I'm so artistic, like I love red because so many different colors go into a red. I remember it was either, it was probably the second time that I did the balayage with you and I said... Or not maybe I said, but I showed the picture and I saw it was like a combination of like, not like a bright blonde, but it was like blonde, but then it also had some red in it. I was like, oh, this would be cool. Um, But I know after time and I don't know how long, but you know, it starts to fade. Exactly. Yes. Bronze. And I'm like, I don't really like a bronze it gets like so brassy brassy thank yes. you that's a, yeah and for me though i don't love that look so i thought well let's not do the red yeah but i was like close to i the know red. i remember this do you? yeah oh i do God. this is hilarious yeah and like if i knew you now versus like the second time meeting you i would have been like dude no we're not going red yeah. <laughs> yeah. Been like, you're not going to like this. I yeah. know you. You are not going to like this. Your, your hair's going to be like pure orange. No. Oh my gosh. 
Ew, I feel like I can picture it. Yeah, like, <laughs> I just feel like you're very, like, natural blonde, like, maybe a little bit of golden, not not too golden, much. yeah. Like, you're like, yeah. a, you're like a beigey blonde. Yeah. Again, 50 shades of beige. Yeah. I go. love it. Okay. What about ombre? I kind of saw some... When I was on the Pinterest. I know. I saw maybe, like, one ombre out of, like, 30 balayages. I know. I don't I even do. know if that's the right plural way to say balayage. Yeah, balayages. 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 <laughs> With the Wait, positive. Does, does anyone come in and, like, yeah, I want the... Balayage? Balayage. Oh, my God, dude. I've heard... How many people? Oh, my God. Dana, you don't even know. <laughs> Biolage. Biolage? That's a shampoo. Balayage. Balage. Everything. I, like, I think once I heard you... I can't remember if I had, like, YouTubed it. Or I think maybe I heard you say it and, like, I got it. You're like, I finally got it. I got it. <laughs> it's literally, like, how it's spelled is exactly how you would say it. Yeah. But the G and the E make, like, a... Add a little Italian to yeah. <laughs> Some bagarino Ramon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> I can't breathe. It's my favorite cheese. Oh my god, it was the best cheese. I have time to do pasta. Oh god, um, yeah. Okay, so but so the ombre, how do we feel? <sighs> I'm over done. It. I feel like it's been out for so long. I mean, if I could put a timestamp, what year do you think Dude, this started? I feel like it started like when I was in high school or something. Okay. Like 2013? Yeah. Like, does that sound right? 2015, maybe? Probably. I mean, I'm, oh tr- I'm trying to think if people, when I was in college, if people had ombre I yet. Know. And that was. We gotta look it up. Yeah. So we'll have to report back. <laughs> exactly. So apparently, though, ombre, and so the word balayage means to like Ooh. freehand paint something. Oh, so that's that why makes sense. it's like an open the, air. Yeah. It's like you're painting a canvas. So ombre is a form of balayage. Oh. But ombre, I'm so done. Unless you're doing, like, really cool colors, I think it's out. Yeah. Like, if you're going to ombre your hair from, like, purple to pink, that's sick. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah. But I think it's out. I think we're done. It's it's Let's just retire it. And you're done. Stamping it. (laughs) Peace out, homie. Oh, bam. Literally. Okay. All right. What about, and I was more of thinking this, Bangs, like like a nineties, like straight across, bang. Do you think this will ever come back? Yes, and I feel like it kind of did. Yeah, a little bit. So, like, do you remember Megan Fox at the um, what was that? The Oscars or the Grant? What was that? Dude, I'm so bad at this. I know. Well, so she had a red, she had a red dress on. Okay, and these little baby bangs. Yeah. Was it like a hook? Like it was like a hook, and it was straight hook. across. Oh god, dude! I gotta pull this up for you. Oh. All right, we're breaking because I want to tell you about my new coffee membership tiers that I'm offering to you, amazing listeners. Yes, essentially a place for all exclusive content that will not be on my Instagram and Facebook. These tiers are going to offer you from sneak peeks of the next episode, uncut audio clips that won't be on the regular episodes, so we've got some juicy content there, and merch discounts. And that's just the beginning of this all, right? So check it out for yourself. You can go and find these three tiers when you click on my link tree in my Instagram bio at the Big Dang Podcast. Boom, click on that, and I'm making it super easy for you because it's the first one on there, the coffee cup icon. See which one fits you the best. But I think that her doing that 
just introduced bangs yeah. to the world again. Because she's, like, so hot. I remember I had bangs. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, she no, is. She, yeah, she's... <laughs> woo! Sizzles. <laughs> yeah, right? Literally. <laughs> um, I remember I had bangs when I was, like, in kindergarten. Yes. And then maybe it was second or third grade. I was trying to grow out my bangs. It was, like, the worst look I think I ever had because you're trying to grow them out. How do you grow them out? I don't understand. You're telling me it's here, but then it's past my eyebrow, but it's still above my eyebrow. And then you're putting little clips in it. Clips. Uh, Barrettes. But that's, I don't remember past that. I just remember like the dooring, but not the post. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it just got better. It just happened. <laughs> That is so. I think we all had that kindergarten haircut with the straight across, thick, hooked bangs. That naturally just. I don't even think my mom ever tried to style my bangs. They just naturally had like. Really, yours had a a hook. Yeah, dude. (laughs) They had a hook. I was like, what is going on? Oh, and it, wow. So I didn't have the hook, but, but just because my hair is straight. Exactly. Pretty, so it's just straight bangs. But just, you have some thick hair. Yeah, it's thick. It was <laughs> It was thick bangs. <laughs> and then my hair was like at my chin. No. Oh, my because, God. Wait, this is actually like my haircut story because I remember getting it cut. Yeah. And then they cut it so short that I cried. Oh, my God. I was five years old. And I was so upset because it was so short. And I thought, Mom, how is this going to grow back? That is so traumatizing. (laughs) But you still remember this. Ew, yeah. Oh, my God. It's like like a vivid Oh, my God. You poor thing. Oh, I'm like God. really sad for you. And you see, this is why right I'm like here. crying because I'm laughing. <laughs> no, you're crying because you're crying at the fact that that happened. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. No, I'll have to show you the picture. Yeah, like, now I need I to. I basically see look like a boy because I dress like a boy then. Oh so. my God. I'm dying. <laughs> well, so you see, like, this is why. This is why you shouldn't get bangs. It's <laughs> No. I've never. No. Oh, I, I do. Mean, I haven't even seen anyone just like walking around or like with bags. Like, popping into a store or, you know, like I haven't. And maybe because I'm also not looking for it that you don't. Now that. Now, now they're on. Now look. I am on the search <laughs> to find. This You're on this. Person. Heck yeah. With hooked bangs. With hooked bangs. No, like literally the curtain bangs. Are obviously a trend still. Curtain bangs. Curtain bangs. Oh, so they're super that? like <laughs> swoopy, like they start oh. about at about like your cheekbone. Yeah. Okay. And angle down. They're really soft. They're really yeah. pretty. You blow yes. them out so that they're nice Just and do big. A little curl. Yeah. Look at no, this little. Maybe. Yeah, you can curl them. Yeah. I have them. Okay. I mean, my hair's like fried, but I have them. <laughs> <laughs> a little cinch. <laughs> But no, those or like PC bangs are so in. Like okay. that's cool. And what would be considered like a PC bang? So a PC bang would be so if you had like a shorter curtain bang. Okay. So say it started at about like your eye. Your eye. Yeah. Yeah. Like mid eye. Mid eye. Right. Like your actual eye like your pupil. Yeah. There you go. Good reference. <laughs> your pupil. Your pupil. <laughs> And then if you literally took, like, a tiny triangle of hair and had those little pieces as, like, the straight across, like, front bangs, like, at your eyebrow, like, the bottom of your eyebrow. Yeah. Okay. That would be, like, the perfect bang. Hmm. So it would go from, like, shorter to longer. Okay. So it's, yeah. that's, but like, not a trendy. Like, like, oh, my God, like, such a different, you know, you can't really tell. Like, soft. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Like, not mm. not 90s yeah. or 80s. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm huh. so sorry to target these people, but We're on the can hunt. we get out of the 80s haircuts, please? Oh, my gosh. Can you graduate them, please? There's 
some people that I come across who, whether it be at the eye doctor. Yes. Up, <laughs> up the street. Actually, up the street. I won't name names, but. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, dude, you got to go to the hairdresser and get this fixed. No, they it like just, it, it. it <sighs> <laughs> A lot of Wait, I think. She has the hooked bang. Oh, no. Oh, no. I totally forgot until I started visualizing. <laughs> it's the hooked bang with the it's, fluffy top. But her, she needs to get her hair dyed. It's a hooked bang. Oh, sweet Jesus. And she just needs a read. Oh, God. Oh, God. And I just want to be like, yo, you let me... Give you my hairstyle. Like here's my here's my hairstylist this card. Is, yeah, here you go. I'll just hand him out. Like no offense. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think I I think it's a lot of things. I think she's probably not taking her uh, care of of her hair Absolutely. just because of the way it looks. Okay. And I thought, how do you get it like this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> but I feel, now I've been going to the Zy doctor for <laughs> so some You're time. really like, you're targeting like one person. <laughs> I'm dying. Now you got to tell us, like, does she work there? She works there. Okay. I'm like, like, so you just so happy I to be on the I hope there's other eye team. doctors in this area. Otherwise... Cat's out of the bag. No, it's not in this area. It's, oh, it's like God. the next town over. <laughs> um, no, but she works there. And I go, oh, I get my eyes checked annually. Okay? Because I almost have like 20-20 vision. But That's impressive. Get it, you know, it's not, it's more my left eye. It's not as, not as good, not as sharp. All right, well, good for you. Can't go to Mars, so. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I wish. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, but I, I, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, so. It's really rough. Perfect example of a hooked bang and some of that needs to get their hair done. I know. And, like, again, no hate to anybody who really likes that <clears throat> style and that era. Definitely. But, like, let's just move on. I think there's other hairstyles that probably look a little bit more flattering. For your face. For your face. Exactly. And I think... I think also people are afraid to change it. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Everyone's just afraid to change. Stuck. Yeah. And like, oh my gosh, my hair, well, uh, you yeah. know, and they're nervous, yep. but it's like. It's like comforting. Yeah. Yeah. For them. Exactly. But and it's like, you never get places when you aren't changing. Yes. You'll never grow. No. Take a chance. Take a chance. Take a chance. Get the bronze. Get the bronze. <laughs> Get the Fifty Shades of Beige. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I love it. Okay. The last one on here for oh my God. some trends. Oh, my I God. I forget where Matt was, but he's like, oh, I saw some, like, young kid yeah. with a mullet. I was like, what do you mean you saw some... A guy? Uh, yeah. It's all the brads and the chads. <laughs> that have the mullets. <laughs> and I'm like, why do you think that looks good? It's like, I don't... How was this even a thing back then? I don't know. So what so they are accident? calling it now is the moule. So they're making the tea silent. <laughs> And I actually that look is funny. So good. The moule. Literally, like, I remember we went to. I have two stories. So I went to Miami, and I went for like it was such an honor to go. They were only we're at a Redken Elite Salon or a Black Elite Salon. Okay. So we're like VIPs, which is pretty cool. And we got invited, and there were only like four of us that got to go because it was like the wow. four highest level stylists. Whoa! Awesome. <laughs> Cheers. You know, no big deal. <laughs> no, that's really cool, though. But we sat in a class, yeah. and they dead seriously started saying the moule. Oh, my God. How did you not laugh? I did. <laughs> I looked at my friends, and we all looked at each other, and we're like, what the actual? 
fuck? Like, what is going on? Like, what do you mean the mullet? <laughs> do you mean the mullet? <laughs> yeah, do you mean the mullet? Like, uh, business in the front, party in the back? Because I'm not doing uh, it. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, so that's, I think, I feel like Miley Cyrus. I showed you Demi Lovato. Yeah. It's Her like, hair is real short. Could, did, was it a mullet? I couldn't see from the angle. It's but a mullet. It's a mullet. Hers is like a short mullet. Oh my gosh. I just feel like it's one of those things that it just, it shouldn't come back, but it did. I don't know why. I'm really envisioning right now, now, every single person I know with a mullet. I know. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Yo, my dad used to have like the most poppin' mullet ever. Really? Yeah. Oh Jet my. black. Oh, fluffy! Yeah, he was killing it. Yeah, he Let me was. Run my fingers through my moule. My moule. <laughs> but yes, please don't ask your hairdressers for a mullet unless, like, that's your vibe. They I'm will totally deny there you. For you. No, I'm kidding. No, well, like, what's kind of in is doing like a longer mullet or like a shag, like a long shag, like a Farrah Fawcett, like okay. a very yeah. Like wispy, wispy, yeah. Like that's cool. Okay. I do a lot of shags. Like that's total. I'm down. But I will not do a mullet. I'll tell you that right now. Or a mule. <laughs> nope. <laughs> mm, sorry. Not doing it. Peace out, my dudes. This is a non mule salon. <laughs> <laughs> no. And there are people that specialize in mullets. Oh my god. I saw it on TikTok. I'm dying. Could you imagine? I'm dying. But like. All power to you, man. If you want to, like... I don't know. I can only imagine someone typing into Google, a salon that specializes in mullets. (laughs) What goes on? And it's, like, the young... It's, like, young people. Like, high school young or, like, early... Or, like, college... Like, high school, college, and, like, early 20s. Okay. So fascinating. And for some reason, the men like it with, like, a really fluffy, like, the guys that have curly hair. Yeah. And that, I'm okay with. Yeah. I can I can picture that. Yeah. But then they were, like, talking about perms. No. No, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. Um, short 30-second story. Um, because of my hair, is just, like, pretty straight. In <laughs> high school, everyone no. was just... You know, scrunching their hair with oh gel, and I'm like, yeah, I can scrunch, scrunch my hair. <laughs> no, there's just gel in my. Hair. Oh my god, no! We're like this. So I'm like, mom, can I get a perm? So I got a perm. I had to get a perm twice. I didn't because my hair. Did your hair fry <laughs> off? No, but it didn't take the first time because it's so straight, oh I guess, God. or like too thick, or one of the t- boat all around. <laughs> and but it came out like like a nice, you know, like a nice wave, a nice wave that it was like top to bottom and not just like at the bottom, you know. Okay. And it lasted so long. Yeah. And it just, like, grew out, you know? Yeah. And then it's like, all right, the top is straight. Now it's getting... Just, it's just curly. Yeah. Like, half of my hair. Um, but, yeah, that was my perm experience. Oh, my God. I thought you but, were going to say your hair melted off. Oh, my gosh. That would that would be... I don't, I don't even know. Well, and for all my people out there, like... Thinking that they want a perm, if you have any form of highlights in your hair, Ooh. any bleach at all, any color, anything, I think color you're okay, yeah. but bleach, your hair will literally melt off. A Get perm out. will melt all of your hair off. Oh my god! So don't do it. <laughs> like, you now know you can't do it. Yeah. But like, you don't Can need to. Can you imagine? Oh my god. Oh, your hair doing that? I know. Ugh. Like, it's like it would get gummy. Yeah. 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 Mm-mm. Bad. Um, Bad vibes. <clears throat> How about any, I think, since we're talking about, like, you know, things not to do with their hair, maybe what else can we do to take 
care of our hair. Yeah. Um, I know. I feel like you showed me like a lot of things that I wasn't doing or maybe also wasn't doing because I didn't have color in my hair yet. But I think also if you don't necessarily have color in your hair, you still need, still to, need take to take care of your hair. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so my like one of my favorite products which you have yeah is the pillow proof ex- it's the pillow proof primer they just changed the name of it though and they actually revamped it's by redken they revamped their whole product so it looks completely different and it smells like bath and body works like when you walk in there it just smells so good mm. oh i love it but that is one of my favorite products because it's just a really light, airy mist that you spray all over your hair, and it's just going to cut your blow-drying time down, which you, Dana, need a thousand percent. It acts as a heat protectant, and it also extends your blow-dry, so you get more wears out of your hair. Now, I want to ask you a question. Mm-hmm. How often do you wash your hair? So... I feel like it depends. I feel like it goes around when I work out. Okay. But also, now that I work at home, like, 100% of the time. Yeah. It, I I let it go longer because I'm like, well, I'm not going to be on video. Yeah. Really. I mean, nine times out of ten, I'm not on video. Exactly. But some of the days, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I will, you know look a little bit nicer even though i'm not on video right yeah um so i've been trying to like stretch it out a bit so i think it depends on the week how i feel um so you've really fine hair because like i'm really we have we both have very thick hair yeah if you have super fine hair and you're like a blonde or you have highlights or i'm just like yeah if you're blonde I would then go into, like, an Olaplex shampoo. Olaplex. Oh, what are you saying, Grace? You're saying foreign words to I us. know. Well, so Olaplex is a really trendy shampoo right now. Okay. So people are actually misusing it because if you have someone like us who has really thick hair, you don't want to use that. So Olaplex is going to add protein, moisture, and keep volume in your hair. So it's super lightweight. So it's good for people with fine, damaged, blonde hair. People who have damaged, thick hair, you want to go to like a Redken Acidic Bonding. What that's going to do is it's going to add protein, moisture, but it's also going to smooth your hair. Mm. So we normally need some smoothing. Yes. Like I need like (laughs) a nice like lathering, like ugh. So that's an amazing, those are two of my favorite, favorite, favorite Shampoos and conditioners, okay. if you're going to go bronze, blonde, copper, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and say it one more time for the listeners. Wait, what? For the, the name of the... Oh, the 50 sh- Shades of, Br- of Beige. <laughs> Is that what yeah, you're talking well, about? Yes or no? The the name of the, the shampoo. Oh! It's because like- it was like... <laughs> Old, all d- d- blah blah, and I'm like, I don't know what you're saying. Oh my god, I feel like an idiot. I'm like, 50 shades of beige. No, no I love it. <laughs> 50 shades of beige all day. I'm dead. Oh. I'm gonna like never stop saying this. It's called Olaplex. Olaplex for the fine for the hair finer people. Hair. And then acidic bonding. Acidic bonding is for the thick haired girl. Thick hair peeps. Thicker than a snicker. Bam. Boom. We Love got it. it. All right. Wonderful. Love Wonderful. It. Do we want to get into some dandruff? Because we know with cold weather, somehow our scalp just says flakes. I've away. had enough. Yes. I've so had enough. my people put down the head and shoulders. Do not use that. Head and shoulders, if you have any color in your hair at all, is literally going to strip the color out. When people need a color correction or a color transformation done, I tell them to use um, dish soap or head and shoulders because it'll take the color out like that. So, what we do have is sometimes you actually are 
mixing up dandruff with like using a drugstore shampoo because what a drugstore shampoo does Mm -hmm. is it has like waxes in them for some reason that's why they're so cheap Mm. when you put that on your head you have your natural oils in there and then they're adding like this waxy film on top of it so when you get out of the shower you're probably feeling super like greasy still and you're like what the heck is going on like i should have gotten a at least two days out of this. Yeah. You know? So, you want to make sure that you invest in some good shampoo and for the dandruff or the greasy or whatever, I always recommend a clarifying shampoo. Okay. What does this mean? (laughs) Yeah, what does this mean? Clarifying shampoo. What this does is it gets rid of any oil buildup or product buildup that's in your hair. Okay. And it actually squeaks. You'll, You'll shampoo it so much and like as you're shampooing it like with the suds and everything yeah. it starts to like get squeaky clean really i swear to god it's oh so my cool. gosh. <laughs> i love it wait so like what what brands like so redkin the, redkin has the clarifying has a we hair the redkin cleansing cream it's not a sponsored i wish we were sponsored i know damn it. redkin sponsor me no <laughs> <laughs> sponsor us no. <laughs> i'm just kidding Yes, we are a Redken salon, so I yeah. literally only use Redken in Purology. Yeah. So, yes, I'm glad you asked me. Hair cleansing cream by Redken is going to be your go-to clarifying shampoo. You Wonderful. can come into the salon. We're in Newtown Square, Pennsylvania. You could go to an Ulta. That's where you can buy Redken. Got it. The Sephora have. Oh, damn. No. No. Not no. No. I love Sephora. Yeah. Great yeah, stuff. Sephora. Come on. Get on board with the Get Redkins. Get on board, man. Oh, boy. Well, I don't think they do hair there. It's probably, just it's makeup. It's just makeup. Yeah. yeah. Unlike an Ulta where they do both. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, the difference. But, so, also with dandruff, you want to make sure that you're using a clarifying, but you're also using a moisturizing shampoo as well. So a lot of people don't know this, but usually you need to shampoo your hair at least twice in the shower. Do two shampoos. Oh. I will say <clears throat> when I've had like when I've stretched it out with all right, I'm not gonna wash my hair until this day or whatever, or like, all right, I can wash it, right? Yeah. And I really stretch it and then I wash it and then I come out and then I thought, did I did I wash my hair? It's not even clean. <laughs> because thing. it doesn't it doesn't feel clean. Exactly. And I thought it probably didn't maybe even because sucks. of my hair so thick, you know, and literally pumping, pumping all the shampoo into my hand. <laughs> yeah. See? I gotta go back in. Gotta go. Do I go back in? I don't, but <laughs> I sometimes go three shampoos. I wash wow. my hair once a week. If I wash once it once a week. A week. Damn. We're going right now on about day eight, which is wow. disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I will say I did a little bit of dry shampoo. Hell yeah. Earlier. Because I felt like, well, it's still pretty good down, but it's just like the top and like you yeah. know, a little bit underneath, you know. I was getting a little little grease. Yes, you have to do dry shampoo. There. Um, but that's interesting that you said that about the washing because I thought, is, is it just me? Or am I am I missing? Like, yes. this, in, do I need a mirror in the shower? Maybe. Maybe, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you do. <laughs> but, yeah, you want to make sure it suds. Yeah. And you get, like, a good suds. So if you don't get that on the first shampoo, then just pump more into your hand. You only need a quarter size amount. And then just keep washing it until it suds. Yeah. And then eventually it will. So because I go so long, sometimes I have to wash my hair literally like three times because wow. there's so much oil. In yeah, it. yeah. That makes sense. And so product. Now, and yeah. Like, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And this is a story for another day, but my, I need to wash my hair brush because I feel like with all the products okay. that I, I feel like I don't put that much but I use the prime you know every yeah well, whatever and but then it's like my hairbrush 
just looks disgusting. I know. You got to there's that. like I feel like I need to like soak it in some kind of solution. Like a bath. <laughs> like a bath. Yeah. I'll fill up the tub just for me. <laughs> Bathe your brush. <laughs> Yeah, but... No, you know, can just spray it with, like, alcohol yeah. or something. Yeah. I just... I think... I don't remember it being like that before, but I think because I use the primer and, you know, sometimes I'll do, like, a little bit of the um, the oil for, like, frizz and whatnot. Yeah. And just everything combined. And then the, um, the dry, dry shampoo, shampoo. It's, like, all this stuff. And then it's, like, in my brush... That's what gets built up. I'm like, if someone looked at this right now, they'd be scared. No, we all have our (laughs) ratchet brushes at home. Don't let anyone fool you. (laughs) Bring them out. Send me a pic. You can just wash it. Yeah. I just want to make sure it, like, gets out. Like, I want the soap or whatever to do the work. So when I pull out the brush. It's just perfect. it's, It's shining. Yeah, it's like. Oh, it's shiny. <laughs> yeah, or just or, buy a new one. Yeah. I would probably replace it every six months or so. Really? Yeah. Really? You're, like, your scalp, I mean, it's it's how you feel about it. Like, yeah. your scalp's gross. Your head's kind of gross, if you think about it. Yeah. It's, like, oily. And when you, like, I get to the point, like, I'm sorry, guys, but I get to the point where, like, my my scalp smells. Because I don't go that, I go so long how? that my head smells. How, does your boyfriend tell you this? No. <laughs> Grace, um, honey, um, your scalp smells? No, you know what he does do? And I'll say, this is the last thing I'll say. Yeah. I, what he does do is like, when my <laughs> hair is really clean, he's like, wow, your hair smells so nice. And that's how you know. Ah! He's nicely saying, Grace, wash your Thank damn hair. God, how do you wash your hair? <laughs> After like a month, get that clean, girl. <laughs> oh gosh, oh, God, so that's great. Um, wow, this was amazing. Thank you so much for going through all the balayage, the '90s bangs that we don't want with the hook. Yes, you want to get the bronze, maybe, so you have that transition to go back to the platinum. I love it. We're done with the ombre. Yeah, right. No um, mullets. Get the right shampoo, my peeps. Yes. Um, if you have any questions for Grace and you want to get in touch with her, maybe she can do your hair, where can people find you, So, Grace? I work at Blush Salon. Blush as in, like, when you put blush on your face, like some makeup, in Newtown Square, Pennsylvania. Um, and you can... Look up our website. We have a website online. If you just Google Blush Salon, Newtown Square, it'll pop right up. Um, Our phone number's on there and everything like that. Okay, so my Instagram is Grace D'Achille Hair. So it's Grace, D as in dog, A-C-H-I-L-L-E, hair. And then my face will be on there. Wonderful. And you can follow me there. Fabulous. All right. Peace out. Thank you so much, Tina. Okay. <laughs> okay, friends. Be sure to listen on your preferred platform. Go to my Instagram or Facebook at The Big Dane Podcast and tap on the link tree within my account to find your favorite way to listen. If you truly enjoyed it, stay on the link tree and tap on Leave a Review. And you'll notice this link tree has other exciting areas to check out, like the coffee memberships that I spoke about with all exclusive content. A merch section is there because, yes, I have merch waiting for you. And of course, feel free to contact me with any feedback or other topics of interest, which you'll see is the last section of the link tree platform. All right. See you next week.